My colleague Mustafa is now joining me from Azad Maidan in Mumbai. Azad Maidan is the place where Ekna Chinde will be holding his Dashera rally. Mustafa, you know, we will see fireworks. Obviously, they have started across the country, but there will be different kinds of fireworks that we will see. In the city of Mumbai today, on one side will be Uddhav Thakre and on the other side, Eknath Shinde. Both of them are holding their respective Dashera rallies. Well, yes, that's true. You can see that behind us slowly, you will see that the people have uh, gathered and they are still coming in. But continuously, uh, you know, raining in uh, Mumbai at this venue in Azad Maidan. And we are, still, we are getting to see people, a lot of people who are also leaving uh, while some people are coming because it's a difficult thing to hold such a big... A uh, rally oh, yeah. in an open uh, ground in Azad Madan in Mumbai. But yes, it's a challenge which Uddhav Thakre and Ekna Chinde have taken up given that uh, the elections in Maharashtra can be announced anytime soon. They are clearly saying that these uh, the rallies will go on at the same time. Important messaging will happen from this rally. Ekna Chinde is likely to target Shiv Sena and Congress. Ekna Chinde is likely to tar target Congress for losing Haryana. He will say that the schemes and the social engineering which has been done by Mahayuti, his government in Maharashtra, will lead to a win for Maharashtra, for Mahayuti, like it did for BJP in Haryana. How will that be countered by Uddhav Thakare from Shivaji Park is something interesting. We'll have to wait and see. Soon after the election announcement, seat sharing is likely to happen and Ekna Chinde is going to lead the campaign for Mahayuti being the chief minister and the Mahayuti government comes back. Ekna Chinde will have the best chance to become the chief minister. We'll have to wait and see what happens in the coming days. But clearly today's rally of Dashera in Azad Maharaj is important for Ekna Chinde. Back to you. Right, Mustafa, you know, uh, what's really, really important and both these rallies at the moment are very significant because both of them will try to make sure that they garner as many, uh, as many voters as possible, garner the support of as many people as possible. Also, the place where you are standing, Mustafa, you know, huge cutouts, huge posters of Bala Sahib Thakre because that's what Eknath Chinde has been speaking about at least over the past two years. He's been saying that he's the one who's taking forward the legacy of Bala Sahib Thakre. And that's maybe the reason why we are seeing such huge cutouts at the Azad Maidan. That's true that uh, for Ekna Chinde's politics, Bala Sahib Thakre has been a central figure. So has uh, he been for Uddhav Thakre and Raj Thakre. But in this election, it's the first election where two sections of Shiv Sena will be contesting the Lok uh, uh, Vidhan Sabha election, the assembly election. And it's a litmus test for both of them, for Uddhav Thakre to prove his leadership, to say that he is the real uh, successor of Bala Sahib Thakre at the same time. For Ekna Chinde, it will be a litmus test being a chief minister for the last two and a half years. How he has led the party in the upcoming election will decide whether how much of a future his party will have. At the same time, the allies of both these chiefs and the Congress on one side, the BJP on one side are basically uh, throwing the weight behind uh, these shifts and us. So the, uh, Bala Sahib Thakre will be a central figure in Maharashtra's election. But at the same time, a lot of factors will matter. How Ekna Chinde, after performing as a chief minister, can win this election for BJP in Maharashtra or whether Uddhav Thakre, with uh, the sympathy he has got since the, fire, the party has been divided, whether he can garner more votes or more mental, is something we we'll have to wait and see back to you. Right, Mustafa, please stay on with me. Ritwik Bhalikar, our colleague who's standing at Shivaji Park, that's the place where historically uh, we have seen how, uh, you know, it, it used to be Bala Sahib Thakre, Ritwik, who used to hold those huge rallies, you know, lakhs of people used to come for the, for the famous uh, Dashera rally of Bala Sahib Thakre. And today his son, Uddhav Thakre, is holding a Dashera rally at the very same spot at Shivaji Park. Uh, you know, Mustafa was uh, saying, Ritwik, that the central figure in this election will be Bala Sahib Thakre and we are seeing how there is a tug of war of sorts taking place. Eknath Shinde on one side saying he is the one who is carrying forward the legacy of Bala Sahib Thakre, Uddhav Thakre giving him a challenge and saying that you should prove that you are the real Shiv Sena. Yes, absolutely, Aishwarya. Uh, this uh, legacy of Bala Sahib Thakre addressing Shiv Sainiks uh, on Shivaji Park Maidan goes back to nearly five decades and today is the very crucial day because 
uh, just from now onwards, uh, at any point of time, Election Commission of India would be announcing uh, Maharashtra Assembly yeah, polls. Maharashtra. And before that, uh, this Dashera rally Chakra marks Bari, a very, Shiva very Shiva important uh, political drama. Chakra it Bari, is called a Super Shiva Saturday Shiva because Shiva both the factions of Shiv Sena uh, final showdown will be seen Chakra today. Uh, both the Shiva leaders, uh, CM Mekna Chinde and uh, uh, UBT Sena Chief Uddhav Thakre, would be taking pot shots on each other, not just that. But Uddhav Thakre would also be targeting PM Modi and Union Home Minister Amit Shah, who's been touring Maharashtra since last one month ahead of the assembly polls. We've also have to see after Jammu and Kashmir and Haryana polls, will Uddhav Thakre also target its own ally, Congress, because Congress was coming uh, up as a big brother in Maharashtra during a seat distribution, while Uddhav Thakre was claiming that more seats will be contested by Shiv Sena, but after a fallout in Haryana polls, Uddhav Thakre has again come into the force saying that CM phase should be announced for Mahavika Sagadi. And now we need to say that in today's Dashara rally, whom all Uddhav Thakre is going to target, Aishwarya. Right, you know, Ritik, if, uh, you know, we, we can see all these posters where on one side is Uddhav Thakre's son, Aditya Thakre, on the other side, his father, Bala Sahib Thakre, and in between is the picture of Uddhav. Uh, and we can clearly see how, if we speak about the elections, both the factions obviously trying to make sure that they say that we are the real Marathas and we are the ones who are taking forward the legacy. How much impact will this Dasera rally actually have on the upcoming elections? Absolutely, this Rashera rally is going to have a huge impact on Shiv Sainik, especially the traditional voters of Shiv Sena, because after the vertical split in Shiv Sena, Uddhav Thakre has been claiming that the cadre of the Shiv Sena is still holding back with him. While in uh, just recent Lok Sabha polls, we saw that how Ekna Chinde's Shiv Sena also had a very good strike rate, uh, claiming most of the seats in Mahayuti. So it's a tough battle now, and it is the first time uh, two parties in Maharashtra have had had a vertical split and now they are contesting against each other so uh, it is speculated that there will be a huge vote division in uh, the traditional vote banks of Shiv Sena and NCP but these rallies such traditional rallies which has a very huge impact on Maharashtra's politics uh, today we are going to see that how Uddhav Thakre is going to target a uh, ruling alliance as well as if he's, he's going to uh, ask Congress about the CM face in Mahavika Sakhadi. Right. Thank you, Ritik, my colleague, who was giving us all the details. Both my colleagues, Mustafa Sheikh, standing at Azad Maidan. That's where Ekna Chinde will be holding his rally. And the other one, where Uddhav Thakre will be holding his rally.